Good morning, this is Kim Warner coming from Las Vegas, Nevada. And um, we're just gonna talk a little bit this morning about um, the timeline. Uh, everybody's going through a lot of stuff and it's been a long time, but it's time to readjust the perception. And the perception of fear can take over the perception of love, growth, and um, introspection. So it's time for introspection, which means that it's time to go within. You know, a lot of people are scattered, they're all over the world, but I'm speaking to light workers today. And I'm letting you know that the new timeline has started for everyone. The new timeline has already started. A lot of people are still waiting on other people. A, a, a lot of people are waiting on a lot of new things, but waiting is waiting on us. Um, I was listening to um, Michael Smith, Draw Me Close to You. And um, it took me back to um, a place called home. And the place called home is where we're going, especially with the North Node in Cancer. So when you look at the fourth house and you line it up with the North Node, no, for all of those that remember we came into um, the light working um, aspect because we were drawn to the light all of us that are drawn to the light remember that the light is home for us therefore we have to get to a place where we are immersing ourselves again in it and taking ourselves out of the darkness there is a division in the earth we already know that but I feel uh, that we have allowed ourselves to become a great part of that darkness and many might say that that's not true I'm sorry for well the Sun is shining and we need that um, so you can see me now but I'm sorry you know if anyone disagrees but just look at what I'm saying if you are the light you are the light and there's nothing that can change that the only thing that can change the light is darkness and that means that there is a perception of darkness and I feel from my own experience of uh, waking up in these ever-changing times over the last past 10 to 15 years that um, fear has uh, tried to take us but when we take on the thought of champions and we know that we're not alone because we do have a, a place called home that gives us love um, and embracement. It's a love that's overwhelming. I mean, that love is like rivers of water flowing. If you could just see that, it would just wash away all of the darkness that we felt and revive us and bring us back. But it takes introspection. It takes meditation. It takes time for us to pull away from the cares of the world. And sometimes you even have to pull away from the cares of family. You know, situations that's going on because these things are um, set in motion for a reason. They're there to distract us. It's not to say that you don't care about family or the things that you're going through. But if you care about what you're going through more than you care about light, the light is going to become dim in us. So let's remember the timeline has already changed. There's no waiting. It's already done. We stepped into a new position when Libra full moon came in. All this year is about repositioning. Now we're in a position where the equinox came and it is changing the timeline. We're going into fall. It's the truth. We're in a transition of fall now. Now the old things pass away really. Because if we look at fall, then what happens is, is that we begin to embrace what nature does. Getting in tune with nature, not in tune with the world. The world as it is, listening to uh, political innuendos and what's gonna happen. One thing is for sure, the universe knows what it's orchestrated and that is what's gonna happen. And so being in tune to the universe and to nature is what gets us through because we see the promise. The trees, they have no worries, they're still green. I'm looking at you know, palm trees here and I know in other areas it could be uh, the trees are turning brown because they're doing what they do for the fall. 
the leaves fall in Detroit, Michigan, you know, because fall is coming. They turn orange, yellow, all different beautiful colors, but they're a sign to let us know that there is a change, all right? So let's look at nature and follow the timeline, not to mention um, getting back to understanding that each season brings a change. We're not in the same place. What hurt us two months ago or a year ago is past, okay? So subscribe to my channel and remember that October the 2nd, we're gonna have a class on the Aquarius um, uh, personality, um, even some of their love characteristics, the Aquarian age, we're gonna talk about that. And we're also gonna talk about every sign that is set in the 11th house and the social group and partnering that's coming out of the Aquarian age. All right, you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you for listening. Thank you for coming on and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.